Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can extract the latest news from the internet using Python. So first of all, let's see that what is the system requirement for this project. So you need an external package to be installed, which is request. So open the command prompt or CMD and simply write pip install requests. press enter and this package will be installed for you for me this is already installed so one more thing you need to do is you need to go to the news uh, api and then register there and get your api key so go to google or whatever web browser you're using and simply write uh, news api go to this website i'll provide the link in the description also and then click on get api key uh, write all the details here and submit and you will end up to a web page that will show you an API key Okay, now I don't think so I have to tell you that how to uh, Enter details here. You can do it yourself. So let's close the browser and Let's start with a program Okay, so now we are into our editor. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll import our package, which is requests. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll create an API key variable and then store our API key here. Now I'm not storing this here because this API key is unique and you cannot change it. So I'm not writing here, but in these two inverted commas, you have to write your API key. Okay, so let's move ahead. Now let's create a function that will actually display the news. So let's name this as news uh, variable. So now let's create a main URL uh, variable. And this will actually be the URL from which we'll be extracting the data. Okay, now there are multiple URLs that you can get. Let me go to the news api again so news api and if we go here and click on documentation you can uh, just go to the top headliner there are a lot of uh, options here click on the top headliner and here you can see if you want to get the top headliner uh, headlines from uh, us you can uh, copy this link to make the get request and top headlines from bbc top headlines from germany now we'll be using the same get request for python also so let's do one thing let's copy everything from here uh, let's say uh, we'll copy this from the germany one and uh, let's uh, open our editor and paste the link here and instead of germany what we'll do is we'll write in which is for india okay then okay so you need to remove this api key is equal to api key and then what you need to do is you need to add a plus here and then your api key variable okay now let's do one thing let's make the get request and uh, extract the data and store this into a json format okay so now here you can see that we are making the get request from this main url and then storing this into a json format now to show you the result i have to write the api key so i am going all the way down and copying the api key here in these inverted commas you have to write your api key or copy your api key okay so brilliant now let's do one thing let's print this news variable so that we can see that whether our program is working fine or not okay so we haven't called this function yet okay so let's call this news function okay so now here you can see that our program is working just fine and let me scroll this all the way to the top and now here you can see that this status is okay which means that our api is working we have total 70 uh, results now you can see that this is in the json format and we are interested only in the source we are not interested in status we are not interested in total results we are only interested in articles so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create an article variable and then extract the data which is present in this article section into that variable okay 
okay so now let's print it once again so that we can see whether now let me comment this out so that this one is not printed okay so let's print the article variable uh, article okay so let's save this and let's run our program again okay so yeah we are getting uh, all the news results here you can see these are all the news results but in the news results we are also having the author name and we are also having the um, the link to this news and there are a lot of things that we do not want we just want the title and the news body so what we'll be doing is we'll be iterating through this uh, json and we'll be only extracting the title and the news body okay so for that let's create a new variable which is called uh, news articles let's say that now we are getting a scarcity of the variable names okay so let's create a for loop uh, for articles okay so let's get a short form rt for rt in articles now we are iterating through all the articles i guess it is articles right no it is article okay and then we are appending this list with those articles okay okay so now here you can see that we are uh, appending this news article uh, list with the title data that is present in articles json okay now uh, once again let's print it and see that uh, what is the output that we are getting okay i'm showing you step by step that uh, how our result is modifying into a more presentable one okay okay Okay, so now it's a long result and actually this is because we have two print commands i guess yeah we have two print commands so let me comment this out uh not the star one okay so let's save this and let's run our program again and now we'll get only the articles section with the title okay so it's getting a bit of time uh just a second so uh, we are getting an error let me see why we are getting this error Okay, so we are getting this because an existing connection was forcibly closed. Okay, that's weird. Let's save this. And let's run our program again. I guess the previous one was running. Okay, so now we are getting an error. And now you can see that we are only getting the news and their title. So yeah, this is the format that we want. But now we'll uh, present this into a more uh, presentable form. So we'll create another for loop and then we'll be printing this data into a more presentable form. Okay. Now here, if you want to display all the news, then you can simply write the length of this news article list. And if you want to, let's say, show the first five or the first 10, you can just write the number here. Okay. Like for say, uh, first 10 news, first five news. Yeah, you can write like that. Okay so but what we'll be doing is we'll be displaying all the news okay okay so let me remove this print statement from here and let's run our program uh, no i don't want to buy okay uh, so yeah we got our uh, result and here you can see that this is a more presentable form here you can see that we are having the title of the news and then from the source okay so yeah you can uh, also change the number here if you want let's say we want to see only the top five news so we can save this and let's run our program again and here you can see that we are able to see only the first five you, you can even write the number of news here let's say that we want to uh, number them as well so you can write i plus one and run our program and here we can see that we are also having the number uh, before the news just to increase the presentation level yeah okay so this is it for this project this was a short video in which i have told you that how you can create a python program that will extract the latest news from internet now we have used this um, news api you can also do this natively by extracting the news from a specific website you can use web scrapping but this is it from my part let's meet in the next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye